So allegedly, y'all, Jonathan Majors lost the case. Now y'all watch my little voiceover video. Just this hit a thumbnail. Y'all need to go check it out, okay? Because my thing is, he thought he picked the wrong woman to stand beside him, okay? He thought that if he was gonna get a sister, they don't care about black women. You should get you a Karen to stand behind you, okay? Because y'all can't tell me. <laughs> Him and Ma Megan Good wasn't just for publicity. I feel like that was for publicity, okay? I had no idea that he was walking into court hand in hand with Megan Good and with his Bible. You can tell that he was a theater kid because this is such, this is big theater kid energy. You can tell he's trying to set the scene. It's a book of poetry, a Bible, and his, I am so tired of that 12 years of slave cup. And he calls it his emotional support cup. Sir, people need support from you. You are, you are the problem, allegedly. Some of the headlines say that he brought his personal Bible, but I think he kind of missed the mark. This Bible doesn't look used enough. Because if you're gonna bring a Bible to court, I think it should look weathered. There should be like, it should be dog-eared. It should look like you are bibliophile, like you stay reading the Bible. It looks like you and the Bible go hand in hand. Like you read every religious text. Like you've got the Torah, you've got the Bible. You've got the Quran. You're reading things in Hebrew and Sanskrit. Like you need to look like you are religious. And this Bible just looks a little too new for me. Megan, why, why do you have the cup now? This man was just found guilty. Why is Megan Good holding the cup? Because that relationship ended, him and the white woman relationship ended and then he used black people's sweetheart, which is Megan Good, to look good in the, in the eye of the media. You know what I'm saying? You should have got you a white woman if you wanted to really look good. I'm just saying. Because they don't care about black women pain. They said both of them was crying in the courtroom when all the stuff was being decided. Yeah, you should have been crying because y'all, you know what I'm saying? They wasn't going to know. Y'all black. They don't care about they don't care about black women pain. When a brother get him a white girl, you know, people start feeling sympathy. I'm just saying, okay, if he was gonna try to do the sympathy role, he shouldn't have picked Megan Good. Cause them white people, especially you go in the court, they don't care about black women tears. Never have. Shoot. And the way they relationship even got together. Now I don't think he was wrong, okay? Cause everybody, even Stevie Wonder could see that man was running from that white woman. You know what I'm saying? But goddamn it. Megan Good should have never brought her ass in that situation. I'm just saying. So, y'all, I'm not saying that Jonathan Majors is a narcissist, but these text messages that they're reading out in court, like, it blows my... Yo, like, this was six months before he got arrested, y'all. It's like he allegedly admitted to physical violence against his ex, this lady right here. These text messages feel so manipulative because, like, they're saying that he abused her right here, right? I, this is from him. I fear you have no perspective on what could happen if you go to the hospital. Like, if you go to the hospital, you don't know what will happen to me. That he texted her that in September 2022. They will ask you questions. And as, and as I don't think you actually protect us, it could lead to investigation, even if you lie, do lie and they suspect something. This is him saying that even if you do lie, they're going to ask questions. They're not going to believe you because you're not a believable liar. And he's trying to make her feel guilty right here, allegedly. But you, you, I don't think you'll actually protect us. You never cared about me. You don't love me. This is displayed in court, in red in court. These are actual text messages. This is not me just like, no, this is not me just hating and trying to take him down. And she said, I will tell the doctor I bumped my head. Like, she's clearly willing to lie, like a lot of abuse victims are, to protect the person that hurt them because they don't want to ruin their lives. She starts crying, and the district, district attorney took over and started reading the messages. I will tell the doctor I bump my head if I go. I'm going to give it one more day, but I can't sleep, and I need some stronger painkillers. So she's in pain. Something has happened to her, and it seems, seems like he might have did it. Especially with him saying, I don't know what, you, what will happen if you go to the hospital. If you lie, they'll still suspect something else. That's all. Why would I tell them what really happened when it's clear I want to be with you? And some people who are not well-versed in toxic relationships will just say, well, that's her admitting that she, she's going to lie right there. She said she will lie. She's already a liar. Y'all, do y'all don't understand how toxic abusive relationships work like the mind gets warped in these spaces it's kind of like being it's kind of like stockholm syndrome where you start to bond with the person who has hurt you the kidnappy the person that was kidnapped fall in love falls in love with the kidnapper now she's like I'm, i need to prove my love to you it's clear i want to be with you these are from him here goes super victim mode super emotional abuse right here this is from him allegedly well i don't know if this is alleged i think this is from text messages last night i considered unaliving myself versus coming home he said to her I need love too. Or maybe I'm such a monster and horrible man, I don't deserve it. And I should just unalive myself. In this way, my existence is miserable. I want to die. Super victim mode. Like, I can't believe what I did makes me so monstrous that I don't want to be here anymore. I, I don't want to live anymore. A lot of toxic, narcissistic people will play that role, y'all, where they're threatened to hurt themselves or harm themselves because of what they did to you. I can't believe I did that to you. <laughs> ah! Start beating themselves up, screaming, start threatening to hurt themselves. And sometimes, 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 
felt threatened to hurt you or the victim. They put that on your conscience right there, so you feel guilty. So if just in case they do take the take themselves out of here, then she responded, "I will not go to the doctor if you don't feel safe with me doing so, or don't trust me to. I promise you, I will never mention you, but I understand your fear. Even in this." situation right here she's trying to protect him but you know she's in pain she doesn't want to go to the doctor i think what they're doing in court is trying to prove a pattern of abuse right here y'all like the incident that happened when he got arrested this is not the first time that it's happened like they're trying to prove a pattern but right here it says telling her that she could not reject his love and admonishing her for not hugging him after the fight like oh my goodness y'all that's how that's how the bond happens like they'll hit you harm you do some toxic abusive stuff to you and then try to hug you and nurture you you know i'm sorry for hitting you but you know how i get Please hug me. Please hug me to let me know you're okay. After they do something horrible to you. He finished it off by saying, I will probably unalive myself. It's not I'm it's not really contemplating anymore. I'm a monster, a horrible man, not capable of love. I'm unaliving myself soon. Y'all can see he's still here. They tried to put that on your conscience. Just say, look, if I hurt myself, I don't deserve to live because of what I did to you. Victim mode. They tried to play the victim to circumstances that they created. Like he created these circumstances, allegedly. I don't know how this happened right here. Like Megan Good supporting him on his you know, coming to court for domestic violence charge. I guess, you know. It, it, he hasn't done it to me. I guess that's her showing up and just saying, like, look, this, if he's a narcissistic person, then she's the new supply. Like, well, he hasn't done it to me, so I believe him. Then right here, y'all, right here, it gets this gets to my nerves. This, this Is that a Bible? Did he break a Bible? Y'all, this is not the, the narcissist playbook right here, y'all. <laughs> oh, my, he got a Bible in a new, in a new, in a... Oh. There's another thing where he was trying to get her to be regal, like Coretta Scott King or Michelle Obama. You know, her, trying to get her to be like... <laughs> But that's what narcissistic people do, y'all. They try to turn you into someone else. Date him for a little bit. That relationship moved fast, didn't it? Y'all ain't think that relationship moved fast? But, 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 but we are already seeing them hugged up. And this man ain't never been, you know, publicly like that with no female. Especially not no black woman. And now you out here with Megan Good? It gave publicity, publicity, publicity. And if it was gonna do that, y'all was gonna do that. You should have picked the Karen. Because they don't care about black women paying. Not enough. Not enough. You thought that you was going to pop up with Megan Good and they was going to give a fuck about you? No. Oh, black people was going to save you? We've been boycotting and riot. Order this. 